Assalamu alaikum, this is Khuram Shazad from Garrison Academy, Senior Campus, Nishan Lakhant. I welcome you all to EPSEX Online Sport Program. I am here with the fourth lecture of second week for the first chapter on the topic of operating system function. In this chapter, we will discuss several functions of operating system, for example, the process management, memory management, file management, input output management. Then we will discuss about secondary storage management, network management protection system and command interpreter so let's get started at the glance uh, these are the basic functions of an operating system first one is process management process management means all the program which are executing or being executed or ready to execute are to be managed accordingly this is the basic function of a system to manage all the processes into a computer for example all the processes means all the open or running farm program for example google chrome ms word vlc media player or any kind of program which you have opened into your system these should be managed accordingly so they provide a faster experience with the computer usage then we will discuss about memory management memory management means the RAM management we have a limited amount of RAM in every computer so we have to utilize this accordingly and very efficiently so we will get all the program in running form uh, sometimes you notice that your computer might be very slow and when you check the amount of RAM this will be very low if the memory is not managed properly it will slow down the computer then we will discuss about the file management for example the creating updating deleting renaming searching opening closing file then we will uh, we will not discuss about the device management this is an advanced topic is not in your book device management means the management of all the devices attached to a computer for example the processor ram printers uh, storage medium for example SSD hard drive etc then we will discuss about the security security means how to secure our computer security also means how to secure from the viruses so computer have a built-in program which is called the firewall or the Windows Defender in Windows 10 and also protected from the user so computer can computer can be used securely by only the person allowed to use the computer by management of account then job accounting job accounting is also not the topic for today then we will discuss about secondary storage management secondary storage management means the management of hard drive and SSD drive or any kind of storage medium management uh, the operating system is responsible to manage all the space which is free and which is filled up by assigning the addresses and making the partition table for all these devices then again process management then we will discuss about the networking networking is also the important aspects of any computer in this era of world we are not able to survive without networking we need networking we need to communicate with the internet with other computers and other systems then uh, we will not discuss between coordination between other software and user because this is also the advanced topic so let's get it get started and discuss what is the process management a process is a program in execution what is a process a simple word a process is a program in execution or process is a program in a running state process management is the part of operating system that manage that manages allocation of computer resources every process need some resources like CPU some amount of RAM to run so the operating system is responsible to allocate these resources to the various processes in the main memory process management actually describe the state and resource ownership of each process every process have some resources like every process have some data every process have some uh, some stack some code and some other sections so all these sections should be managed accordingly for example in this example there are three processes ABC ready for execution the OS will manage the CPU time 
as follows for the process a cpu cycle to process the process a cpu has to execute some time for example cpu has to execute the 5 millisecond per time of a for time of b it have to execute 2 millisecond for time of c it have to execute 1 millisecond to execute these processes how the computer will efficiently manage this process is discussed here these are three processes which require some time in case one when three processes become ready in the order of a b c for example we have to process a then b and then c the total execution time will be the time is equal to five first of all cpu has to consume five seconds to execute the process a so cpu has to process the process a it will have to execute the time of 5 millisecond then it have to process process b2 so it will have to execute two more millisecond to execute this uh, these two processes so when we plus uh, computer is in running state 5 sec 5 milliseconds are already 5 milliseconds are already passed and 2 more milliseconds we have to add in this will become total 7 then when the CPU have to execute the process C it have to execute 1 more millisecond to execute these 3 processes so the computer have already spent 7 milliseconds on these 2 processes so it have to execute one more second so it will become eight so if we get the average response or average processing time of the processes that will be by the sum of all these three processes by dividing the total number of processes we will get 6.67 millisecond the computer have to execute every process or it have an average response time or average processing time of 6.67 millisecond in the case 2 if our operating system is smart enough to process these processes in a very efficient sequence for the sequence when the process become ready in the order of B C A for example computer have to execute B first C then and then a the total execution time will be two, two three eight divided by three is four point three three how it becomes first of all computer have to execute two cycle for process b computer have execute two cycle for process b then it have to process one more second to process c so total time will be three two plus one is equal to three then computer have to execute five more second and 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 and if we sum up all these three processes and divide it by the total numbers it will become 4.33 a very efficient allocation of resources to this process in the above example in the case 2 the OS is managing the process more efficiently the execution time in case 2 is less as compared to case A so computer will manage all the process according to some extra efficient algorithm which are coded into the operating system for example it will manage the processes in in turn by turn uh, scheme round robin techniques or time sharing technique or queuing method this will be discussed later in the chapter of operating systems this is the process management in process management computer Ex computer manage our operating system manage all the processes which are in running state are being ready in this data for example process 5 4 3 these are in the job scheduler computer have to process one or two processes at a time so there will be a queue of processes a process will be executed only one by one turn by turn so when it becomes ready it will be sent to the CPU for processing and when it's complete its execution it will be exited and the memory will be freed and the CPU will be alert to the next process the next our topic is the next most important function is the memory management every computer has only a limited amount of RAM if we are discussing about any laptop it will have 
a maximum normal range of 8 GB of RAM. 8 GB are not enough. Our computer processing is demanding very large amount of memory. For example, in the past time we have a movie. We will discuss about a movie or a song that have only a few MBs of its size. For example, computer have to execute only a song or a movie of a few 500 MBs only. The computer will manage it very easily. So our movies are growing. Our quality is growing. Our movies have a quality of HD. Our movies have a quality of Blu-ray. Our movies have quality of HQ. So these require more amount of RAM to process. So we have to manage the RAM more accordingly. And also we have many program running simultaneously into our computer so these all programs are not have to create any mesh or any overlapping between the memory so memory management is the part of operating system that controls and manages manages the operations of main memory main memory whenever we talking about the memory or the main memory we meant for RAM RAM is called the memory or the main memory and if you are confused with the memory memory is the temporary memory which is RAM which store data only when the computer is turned on it is a volatile memory it is called the volatile memory because the word volatile come from the word voltage voltage means the electric current when the computer have electric current all the data in the RAM will be stored and when the current is not into RAM device or current is not here all the data will be wiped out or erased memory management I will repeat the topic memory management is the part of operating system that control and manages the operation of main memory during the operation of computer it is very clear that it manages all the processes all the memory during the operation of the computer not unlike not like the permanent storage device when the computer is turned off our all data into d drive e drive is there too but the ram data will be erased it allocates space to program all the program require all the processes all the program require some cpu and some ram amount to be executed so it allows our it allows our ram device to fill more and more program to run these programs simultaneously it allocates allocate mean reserve a space allocate mean reserve it allocates space to program that are loaded in the memory for execution it keeps track of the freed memory when the program is closed when the program is open it will process it will process the program and send it to main memory in the user space and when the program is exited it will take this process back and memory will be free for another program it keep track of freed memory when the program is closed and update the memory state and tell the operating system that how much amount of ram is available at that time for example in the example os managing two processes process p and process one is executing process p1 is loaded or swapped in in computer term or in the operating system term when the process enter into the ram this term is called swap in our computer uh, process 2 our process 1 is swapped into the main memory and process 1 is swapped out of the memory process p1 is being loaded into the swap in and p0 is being taken out swap out from the memory of ram so let's get clear the concept of how much ram is available all the time into a computer for example uh, when we boot up our computer boot up means when we start the power button of the computer it loads it takes some time it takes some time to load the operating system files which are stored into c drive to load into the ram and then it will display a welcome screen after some time so when the operating system is loaded some of the operating system files for example this green part some of the operating system files are loaded into 
main memory or the RAM. This is called the booting process. The startup process of a computer is called booting process. So some of the RAM is occupied by operating system and the other amount of RAM is free for program execution. So there are two portion in the RAM. One is the reserve portion for the operating system and second one is the free portion for users to execute some programs to execute some processes this is called the user space this is the memory management memory management means simply to manage memory to open processes to process and taking memory back when the program is uh, when the program is closed next thing is file management file management you are already familiar with we are doing file management in our mobile phones in our computer laptops other devices we have we delete our files we copy new files we rename our files this is only the file management file management is a part of operating system that manages files and folder on storage devices now we are talking about the storage devices such as hard disk we are talking about storage devices which are permanent storage devices in which our device is off the data will not be lost devices such as hard disk usb drive and dvd drive memory card solid state drives miniature hard disk portable hard disk these are also included in the file management and the memory storage devices what is the file management it allows computer users to perform such operation file management is the actually creating copying moving renaming deleting and searching files and folder it also includes opening writing and closing the programs now i will discuss the bookish it allows the computer users to perform operations such as creating, copying, moving, renaming, deleting and searching files and folders. It allows the user to perform read, write, open and close operation on files and folders. Files are different from the folders. Folder are the containers or the bags or the packs or the boxes to store some files and files are the individual units that cannot store another file inside a file so files are the individual unit and to manage the files we have folders for example you have the folders you have the uh, you have folder for your uh, for your annual report to hold all of your papers and result cards in that this is same as we have files and folders. Folders are the container to manage all the files. In a folder there may be another folder and there may be another folder. Folder may have folders but files may not have any kind of folder. Next topic is input or output management. Input output IO management is called shortly. IO management is the part of a printing system that control all the input output operations during the execution every computer to execute need some input and output devices for example we cannot perform even a simple task without using any input or output devices we use input devices such as mouse to give commands to a computer to perform certain actions and when certain action is performed we need to view what result it has generated so we use output devices such as monitors, LCDs, LEDs, etc. It manages all the input out operations of uh, input output and storage devices. Efficient input output management improves the, uh, the performance of the computer. For example, uh, we are talking about an output device of printer. There are three programs ABC. There are three programs. For example, we have Open the Word, PowerPoint and the excel2 these three programs can print a file so all of these processes require a printer all of these process send the command of print to a printer simultaneously now what will be now a printer cannot print all of three pages simultaneously so it have to wait for one by one term now os will decide which program to use the printer first the which program which comes first it will which program have 
made the command first it will be execute first and then second and then third it will make a queue a queue will be set by the OS and each program will get the printer by its turn only each process will get the printer by its turn only IO management means providing the input output device to the programs simultaneously are by turn uh, are turn by turn which is most suitable and most efficient method next is secondary storage management secondary storage means our permanent storage for example in our computer system we normally use the hard drive uh, as a secondary storage device for example uh, this is the hard drive of 6 terabyte now in the market there are also the 10 terabyte hard disk which is 10,000 GBs in a single hard drive and in below I have show you I've showed a solid state drive SSD drive this is called the HHD hard disk drive HDD hard disk drive and this is SSD solid state drive this is the more faster than the hard drive and act similarly similarly as hard drive secondary storage management is the part of operating system that manage free space and storage allocation of the user program and data on the secondary storage device whenever we have to copy some data we have some free space on the computer on our hard drive and if the space is not available it will prompt us to make some space or cancel the operation example program A is ready to be stored in the hard disk for example we have we have to store a program A into the hard disk now the OS will look for any free space in the disk program will look into hard disk for the free space and assign a proper address to it if the space is not available OS will prompt prompt means it will display a dialog box or a message box the user to empty some space or cancel it operations this is the secondary storage management now the network management network management is the vital part of our today's life network management is the part of network it's part of network operating system that money manages that monitors and manages the resources of a network the resources may be any kind of resources <laughs> network management it allows uh, to create users it allows to create user groups and assign privileges to them it shares the network resources among the user and detects and fakes any network problem it uh, if occurs for example we have to connect all of the devices into a network we need some devices and we need an operating system which supports the networking protocols which is capable of doing networking processes next protection system every operating system have a protection system protection system is a part of rating system that ensure the each resource of a computer is used according to the privileges given to the user by system administrator every user have its own data and own resources no one can share or no one can see the data of another user it creates account for each user and gives privileges to prevent misuse of the system It creates accounts for each user and gives privileges to prevent misuse of the system. It provides passwords to all the users to maintain the network security. For example, in the picture I have shown you the Windows XP interface which is creating four users, administrator, Bob, Jennifer, Steve for different purposes. These are the different users and have different data files and different programs to execute only the administrator is the super user of the computer which can have all the privileges and all the access to the computer it can install software it can install everything into the computer it can see all the data of other users next command interpreter command interpreter interpret means to understand when we uh, for the old type of computer system we have different operating system for example for the first time we have 
only an operating system which can understand the command we are talking about the disk operating system or CLI interface command line interface we have to only type the commands and then we have to execute these command to perform certain action we have to remember all the commands and we comes with the MDI interface which is the menu driven interface we have to select only the menus and these menu execute commands automatically to perform and then we have improved and evolved by our system using GUI which will which is graphical user interface we only click on some button we click on the minimize maximize close and start button and the commands are automatically executed command interpreter is the part of the play system actually we are using the graphical user interface we are using the mouse and keyboard to do things we are using mouse to open files close files something but all these processes are done by computer system by using only commands our mouse send commands to the computer we do not have to type the command but the computer is working actually on command based so every computer or every operating system must have the understanding of commands it have it should have it must have a command interpreted built into a computer system every uh, built into an operating system I'm talking about computer system I'm talking about operating system every computer every every operating system must have a command interpreter which understand the commands sent by the user or the input output devices it is a file in the operating system that reads and executes user's command entered as a text to the keyboard for example windows operating system uses cmd cmd means the disk operating system DOS. you may open cmd by typing just cmd into the start menu and you may open this kind of windows and in a and other operating system for example linux and unix have their own shell shell means their command interpreted which are more powerful than windows operating system and mobile also have a terminal emulator for executing commands next there may be some questions in your mind and I will answer these questions one by one first one is what is a process a process is an instance of the program or I may simply call that any program in a running state or a program in execution is called the process what is the difference between main memory and the secondary memory main memory is the RAM is the temporary memory or the volatile memory and the secondary memory is the permanent memory or fixed memory which is not erased when the computer is off what is file management file management means the creating updating deleting renaming moving files into our computer system or into our hard drive why memory management is important memory management is important because every computer have only a limited amount of memory so it is very important to manage the memory accordingly or properly to make our resources work faster and more efficiently now this is the most important question do mobile operating systems for example Android, I iOS, Symbian, Java, Blackberry also perform these management functions they also mobile operating system are also operating system so they are also execute all the process a mobile also have a processor mobile also have a RAM a mobile also have a fixed storage device mobile also have input output devices for example camera microphone speaker etc so mobile phone also perform all these operating system action to work accordingly so this is of our today's topic this is also our uh, your homework you will write this question in two or three lines and submit into the whatsapp group so I will check it here now I will do a quick summary for you uh, first of all we are talking about the process management process management is the management of all the running or waiting program into our computer any program which is executing should be managed is called process management memory management means the management of memory our RAM device to fill all the 
memory management is the management of our RAM device to provide space for all the program to be run into our computer. File management is the process of creating, updating, deleting and any kind of operation creating folders, files is called file management. Device management is the management of all the devices attached to the computer for example printer, cameras, LCDs etc. Security is to ensure the proper privileges and avoid the misuse of a computer. Security also includes the security from the viruses. Every windows have a built-in program which is called the firewall to protect all the viruses uh, from entering the computer. Job accounting is the next topic is the management of all the processes efficiently using some techniques. Secondary story management means allocating and deallocating the space on the permanent storage device to storing programs and deleting program process management is already discussed networking means to process network resources such as internet such as communication with other computers communication with mobile phones communication with other devices coordination between other software and user and operating system is also enable us to coordinate with other software and user for example we can communicate with other computers and other users by using operating system next this is the topic of today if you have any query or any kind of question you may ask in the group thank you very much